Hello and welcome everyone, Lanhart here with part 6 of my reading let's play of Total War Rome 2 Empire Divided and it's release day so I hope all of you that have picked up the DLC are enjoying it so far. Let me know down in the comment section which faction, which leader you've chosen to play as and why. I'd be very interested to see um, who you're playing as and I hope some of you guys made use of that 15% off that Games Planet were offering that I was linking to in the description and comment section over the last five videos. That has now ended but as we're heading into December um, I'm sure there'll be some winter and Christmassy deals coming up so I'll be sure to update you guys if there are any good Total War offers coming up on Games Planet. Also a massive thanks to all of you as always for your comments, advice, tactics and suggestions. It's all greatly appreciated and um, particular shout out to Watson, I believe, who started a, uh, a Latin uh, teaching series as such of, of, of um, grammatical and pronunciation um, lessons and tips and what have you uh, from his own learning. He's sharing that in the comment section of um, part five onwards, although he's been doing it, I believe, since the start of the series, but he's now condensed that into a nice big post, nice big comment on part five, and I believe he's carrying that on in future episodes. And of course, I will now be pinning to the top of the comment section the Sun God's Empire story that is being um, collaboratively put together by Centurion Titus, Humble Pair, and Imperator Gamer. Uh, those three are rotating through writing it um, each episode, so do take a look for that. Now, the main thing quite a lot of you were picking up in the last episode was like, Lanhart, you're 21 turns in now. Why haven't you Why haven't you got to Rome? Like, Creative Assembly did it in, I think, 12 turns, or they were over there in 12 turns. The reason why is that when Creative Assembly did that on their on their Total War channel and their Twitch, they lost their eastern provinces, and I'd rather hold on to them, actually. I'd rather solidify my control in the east, because I believe it just makes it a little bit easier easier to, to deal with, hold on, we don't have to then reconquer them later, and I'd rather have a stable empire and then expand, rather than expand at the cost of my empire, and at the cost of stability, and I believe that now's a good time at the early part of the campaign to do that, to take your time, because you are protected, you have the civil war protected status, um, because we're fighting against the Roman pretenders, with the, you know, power and politics update, um, which should have also um, officially gone public today, it was in open beta, but it's now public, I believe, alongside the... Uh, Empire Divided DLC. So even if you haven't picked it up, you should still get a slightly more richer experience um, in the normal Rome 2 campaign, or I, I imagine it'll be in the Imperator Augustus um, campaign as well. Um, so yeah, do take a look at those for the Power and Politics update too. But yeah, I think that we can afford to take our time because of that whole protected stage. We don't have to uh, worry about uprisings from other parties, so we might as well invest in our settlements, and that's exactly what I've gone for. Um, so next turn, we will bring the Corleonis Legion to deal with this um, siege that's going on by the Pretenders, and I'm hoping this is one of their main, major armies, because then that means that Aurelian is going to be free to strike Batavium and start marching down. Um, I, I kind of feel like, yeah, we could dive straight to Rome, but it's probably better to secure settlements first. Part of me actually wonders if it might be better to capture this whole province first and then push down towards Rome, or whether it's just take Batavium, take um, Ariminium, and then take Rome, and that's a nice little bing-bang-bosh um, sort of move, and then bring other armies over to help claim the rest. The Corleonis is obviously going to be able to jump on over pretty soon as well. So I, th I think that's probably quite a viable go for the eastern sort of coast of Italy and claim those regions there, and then secure the south and hold the north and then start pushing back against Gallic Rome. I think I'm going to go towards Gallic Rome first and leave Palmyra um, out of it for now unless I get dragged in there. We do need to send this army up here. I'm actually going to force much. I was going to recruit some extra troops, but I think I might just throw some mercenaries in. Let's force march you that way. So if they do attack, um, then these guys will reinforce. We'll have 12 plus the 7 in this. We'll have 19 in total against their 20 stack. But I think they've, yeah, they've just got Numidian infantry primarily. So we should be able to best them with my levies. Uh, with Aurelian though, it is now time to march him toward Rome. We, we've done enough to secure the borders of our empire. We've got the Quad Eye as our vassals, our clients. So let's bring Aurelian here. I want to keep him on the border because we want to get rid of these three units. And sort them out for three units of pikemen. Good. Uh, we can upgrade that next, which would allow us to get Evocati Cohort and Roman Legionaries, Armoured Archers, so that's something we'll look towards soon. Um, we're going to hold here. We are taking Attrition, but I think the Garrison could probably actually hold out against these guys to start with. So we will wait, and I'm hoping that they won't attack this next turn anyway, and then the Corleonis can do some damage. 
Um, speaking of which, I think, yeah, you guys have got, ah yes, a new skill for your general. We're going to go for Covert Expert, because having that Night Battle ability is rather useful. And then, it will be expensive, but just to bulk up these guys a little bit, let's throw in some more mercenaries. And what can we actually throw? We can throw in mercenary Egyptian infantry. Ooh, they're actually quite tough. Melee attack 16, but the defense is 43. What, how's that compare to the Numidian infantry? 13 melee attack. Oh, their defense is high. The big shields. Okay, um, I guess we could go for missiles though as well. Some archers would be nice. I'd love to obviously go for the elephant. That would be ridiculous, but we don't have enough money for that. Um, I can go for two of those guys, or oh, I can go for two and one. That sounds like a much better option. <laughs> Let's max that out. Let's grab those guys, and then that's a solid force to then uh, reinforce the settlement with. We're close enough to it, I believe. Yeah, we can't get any closer. Right, let's leave it at that for now. End the turn. And deal with, most likely, uh, reinforcing that siege. Okay, Gallic Rome bringing that navy over that way. And they were also bringing some troops, I believe, back towards um, Noria. And the Roman pretenders have sent a, a new army down to Sicily to reclaim that. Oh, cheeky. Sent another army that way. Oh, they haven't attacked. Probably because I've got that other army there now. I come to ask this. Will you stand with Rome and show... You can keep asking that, but I don't know where these guys are. I mean, I assume they're way off to the east, but for now, I'm gonna say no. Uh, Galatia. No. Uh, also, I should say, I'm glad you guys enjoyed my Bane impression. <laughs> Missing taxes are... No! Woo! Rip income. Rival banquet. Attend. Uh, that worked out pretty well, wasn't it? A forbidden break. I'm going I'm to attend again. A rat infestation in the Rona. Uh, yeah, Noria. I saw, yeah, these guys heading towards it. And they've got eight in the garrison. I want to push with Aurelian, but they're, they're constantly harassing. Oh, my spy's no longer wounded. In fact, okay, let's send my spy out here so I can get an idea of what's ahead. Aurelian, though, we are going to continue the march. Oh, Gallic Rome's just taken that, though. They've secured that whole province. I'm going to move Aurelian that way, though. And we're going to go smash these guys in the bottom. Mm, we don't actually have that much money to play around with. I'm guessing we'll gain some more soon. I'm guessing it's the upkeep cost for all my new, new units. They must be expensive? 90? Mm. I mean, cohorts, yeah, they're expensive. We have dropped rather substantially. I know they're under siege here. But is that really affecting things that badly? They've got cohorts over here now as well. Mercenaries are expensive. Let's break that siege first. Okay, I am going to order resolve this one because... It's Numidian infantry, they should just go splat. Uh, so we'll go aggressive and we're going to fight that battle against the uh, that armoured Roman army. That should be pretty tough. Uh, enslave them, I would get more um, help drive my economy. Yeah, you know what, let's, let's enslave some of them. See how that works. And as much as I do want to get my ass over here to defend from these guys, because otherwise we're going to lose our settlements over here, um, I'm just going to go finish these guys off once and for all first. And we'll enslave them again. Right, now that that's done, uh, let's get rid of the mercenaries. Now, the thing is, they could just turn on me. Which I don't really want. Okay, we'll go we'll go normal stance to here. Because we're replenishing up quite nicely. If they come to us, we'll have to pull back. We'll go for formidable fighters. And likewise, again, another covert expert. Yeah, income has increased. And obviously when we break the siege, we should also see a bonus there. Now, how are you guys? You're a fleet. We only have ten though. Can I get some mercenaries? I could. Ooh, assault bereem. They cost a lot of upkeep, but that would give me enough to then go and threaten these guys. I'd quite like to try a naval battle, to be honest. The Roman pretenders are going to reclaim the regions here, which is fine, because we can just go back in and sack them again. Although, yeah, they're losing they're losing ground to Gallic Rome. Gallic Rome is going for it. You guys were saying get a champion as well, so we'll look into doing that shortly. Um, yeah, let's try and poison their provisions. 
do some damage. We failed. Damn. But she's getting some experience. Now let's go on in and fight these guys. Ha! <laughs> Wusses. I've got all these guys reinforcing. I'm actually going to do a night attack for this one, which will mean my reinforcements don't come. The garrison does. But yeah, we don't need the reinforcements to follow in uh, for this one. I think we can I think we can take them on. Or is that or is that a bit cocky? Because <laughs> we know what the order resolves like, uh, and my chances of winning is quite tough at the moment. Um, we'll have the garrison. What have we got? We do we don't have any we'd have one unit of cavalry. And they have one melee cav and one missile cav. They do have legionaries. Okay, let's not night attack it. Let's let's get the extra reinforcements in there. Just in case. Hopefully have a night battle at some point. Ooh, it's raining. Uh let's wait. Wait again. Fog. Fog is cool. Let's go with fog. I kind of wish actually it didn't let you change or it only gave you one option to wait just because I feel like you're always going to wait for a dry day but sometimes it's just dull. Um, I wouldn't want to fight in the rain because I've got missile troops but oh that, that ridge, if we could hold that ridge with my archers and then defend around it, that is lovely. That would be lovely. They do have, they have armoured archers so we're going to struggle to take them down with my archers I would imagine. Uh, my unit of cavalry, where's there? They have their horse archers over here, and they have Praetorian cavalry, of course. Then let's go... Yeah, let's focus on trying to take out that general early on with my cavalry group. Pop them over there. And then my strongest line infantry... Or my strongest line of infantry. We don't have a line infantry as such in this game. And then four and four on the flanks. So weaker troops on the flanks, not always ideal, but part of my plan for this one. We could also go for reserves, but I, I, I've always favoured the wider envelopment just because the like the flanking penalties. Um, but I would, I would actually like to possibly look at trying out some other tactics. I know obviously a lot of you are suggesting the Roman checkerboard type attack. And also some of you were saying in the last one, why didn't you go into attacking Testudo when you were under Missile fire. I should have gone on, gone into attacking Testudo for sure. Um, my bad. Um, yeah, we'll keep the wider flank. We could keep them in for reserve. I just don't want them then throwing javelins into the back of my men. Obviously, I could turn them off fire at will. But I feel like that flanking envelopment is always just worth worth grabbing, really. Archers to here. Our reinforcements have arrived. Oh, they actually they actually can't get up that hill. Oh, that's that's okay. They have to go round it. Yeah, reinforcements coming in, of course. Move up all these guys. And that's actually got another strong unit of cavalry, so I do want that over here. I'm just going to grab all their infantry as another group. Skirmishes out in front. And infantry over here. That's looking good. Fourth, legions of Rome. Now, if only we could draw them to us, because that would be amazing for this position that we've got our archers up on. If we could draw them to us, but they do have. Do you think they? I think they've got missile supr uh, supremacy actually. God, just look at that firing from up there. They can't actually get up the hill to them. They'd have to flank. That is a very nice position. <laughs> They got over here. They pop their horse archers. Oh, and they pop their general over here now as well. Okay, so I'm going to shuffle my cavalry onto that left flank. Try and attack him that way. 
And these four, we're gonna, yeah, we're gonna prepare for them trying to outflank us over there by just nipping that wing in. These guys still all moving on in quite quickly. Let's triple speed it. Our hidden units have been discovered. Okay, they've moved forward with their horse archers. Jupiter gives us strength. I'm giving you a tack order because you'll run forward and throw a, a peeler. Our hidden Damn. units have been discovered. Which, if it had hit, would have done a lot of damage. Your orders. Cavalry. Oh, general, that's that's brave. Peeler throw. Yep. Hit that Praetorian Cav hard. In fact, General, go in there and finish him off. You guys head that way. You guys dive in. And they're now attacking, so my archers can have fun firing. Forward. Our hidden units have been discovered. They've attacked over here. That's okay. We'll get that unit just to hold. In we go. How's my general doing? Ooh, I think we caught those horse archers as well. Nice. Pushed out with the legionaries. The cohorts. Don't worry about those archers. Just press up towards their infantry, guys. Uh, off formation attack. You two off formation attack for sure. No, not attack and testudo, sorry. Formation attack. Messed up. I know we're under fire, but I've got to get you moving rather than attacking testudo because that will just slow you down. There is a unit of pikes. The enemy general is dead. Nice, nice. Have we caught that cavalry? We have. Lovely. Can archers hit those guys? Our men flee the field of Missile battle. troops over there. This is a display. And you guys are group six. Attack through. Off formation attack. Hit the lancers. There we go. Hit those pikes in the back. Get them. Ah, oh, peelers as well. Cavalry. There are plenty of archers to go and slay. One of our units has used all its ammunition. That's fine. Yeah, here they come. Beautiful. That's it. You just mess up their slingers. Hit these guys, please. You guys turn around, hit these guys in the back. General's here. Cavalry's here, love. Our hidden units have been discovered. Absolute slaughter, yeah. We, we prob could have comfortably, I would have thought, done this in the night battle then. Next time. But better safe than sorry. Don't want these guys running around causing havoc. Last of them there. Well done. Archers, get back on your hill and look cool. End the battle. Close victory. Really? Uh, we did lose 1,243. Killed 2,038. Nice. Archers, 151 kills. 91, 79. Nice. Your Archer Hill worked well. Victory for the Archer Hill. A new party has been formed. Let me check that again, actually. Um, and yeah, let's 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 enslave more for now. A new party formed. The very eminem eminem tissim tissimi. Who knows? <laughs> Not this guy. So they're down here. Okay, so he was yeah he was a a diplomat, wasn't he? 
Or he was from... He was from this guy, actually. He, so he split off because he's gained a fair bit of gravitas. Oh, I like that. He's like, screw you guys. I'm going elsewhere. So yeah, now a new little party over here. We've still got the majority of the influence. That's kind of where I like to keep it. Around about the... That sort of level. Obviously, having it higher is great. But then we've got to keep their loyalty. And I'm guessing if they're suppressed, they're not going to... They're not going to like us. 23, 11, and minus 7. So we need to get you on board. Uh, which we could do with some secure loyalty. Um, but we'll take a look at that. Okay, yeah. It incomes jump back up now that we have access to the settlement again. Um, you guys... Can I force march you? I can, actually. Yeah, right. Send back over here because we're going to need you to then sail across probably and hit um, Asculium over there. Or a Axculium. I guess the hard K. The C is the hard K. Um, you guys, Nerona is now safe, so I'm quite happy to force march you back down towards Apollonia. Um, yes, it would be nice to give you cohorts and what have you, but for now, I don't think we can really afford that, to be honest. We can upgrade this over in Apollonia anyway, and then you can get some better troops, so let's, let's throw that in there for now. Um, Squalor, we do probably need to look through some of these and just check all that. Uh, we have enslaved some people, so we will need to make sure that's all, all hunky-dory. And I wanted to get a champion in, didn't I? I wanted to pop a champion in. Pop that into Aurelian's army. So we'll try and do that shortly as well. Now, Noria over here. <sighs> They're not particularly strong. Uh, I mean, I could always raise another army just to look after things over here. We, we're not going to need much to hold them off. Although I won't be able to recruit anything this turn. Otherwise, it's you guys that are going to have to sprint up there and do something about it. We need to slowly but surely swap these levies over for cohorts at the very least. Um, that should be our next job. Um, we do have this army over here in the east, of course, and we're going to keep these guys as levies for now. Um, for sure. I might swap out the spears, though, and make them levies. Or maybe I'll feel nice and swap those three to cohorts. Uh, the reason why we're keeping these guys cheap is that we want um, kind of a cheap and cheerful army that we can happily move around in the east just to secure and control something. We don't want it costing us a lot because that will stop our actions um, elsewhere. The Buri, we still can't get Gods peace the with. The Gothi are hostile, so I wouldn't Gods be surprised if the they afterlife. go to war with us soon. But they are at war, uh, war? <laughs> they are at war with two factions for now. Let's see if there's anyone that's willing to trade. Yelani. You have the ear of my people. Do not waste. Wh well, where's the rest of them? <laughs> um, <laughs> awful, awful, Lionheart. Stop it. Uh, no, that's fine for now. We could always, we could use my diplomat actually um, against against them to to make them like me a bit more. We were going to do that against the quad eye, weren't we? To actually make sure they stay happy. So we will look to do that then as well next turn. So that's all that. I think we're good for this one. Although we were thinking about hiring some mercenaries, but we don't have enough money over here to do that. Um, better for us to stay here because we'll get some extra ships and then go after them next turn. I know we've got the ballistas, but still, I don't want to risk losing this fleet just yet. Um, plus next time we can always hire some mercenaries and go after them. Same with these guys. Right, end the turn. See what occurs. Still want to get Aurelian over to Patavium. Gallic Rome's pulled back. Good on them. They pulled their ships back that way. That's okay for now then. It means I can continue to build up that fleet normally. And raid. And possibly sack. Yeah, they're going to go in here. They're going to wipe out the garrison. Oh, they've got an elephant in there. Okay. Have an army of elephants. And rip. Can you not find the courage to join the war? The monsters we fight may yet bring doom to you. Been watching Pacific Rim lately. Getting your, getting your quotes from that one. Um, I'd really rather not just, just yet, no. They've been attacked by the Ardhan. No idea where, they're, where they are. Are there? My, ah, my client state is allies with Palmyra. That might actually do to go towards helping us maybe cement a peace with them for now. Yeah, enter on the side of them. No idea where that, <laughs> that is. Let's see. Let me get back to our turn. Plague! No! And our income is increasing. 
Income is rising. Oh no, a new outbreak. Eat it cancelled in Africa, yeah. Oh, what's this? Adoption. Another family seeks to adopt one of your characters. Allow the adoption. Hell no. Stop the adoption, yes. That's one of my generals. Oh dear. Rat infestation. Rat catchers. Fumigation. Appease the gods. Um, cats. Import a large number. I quite like, quite like the idea of let's let's import some cats. Um, but anyway, yes, characters. Yeah, they're trying to grab this guy. No, not allowed. He's mine. Back off. Diplomat. I can't. Oh, I can send you. Does it not cost us stuff? It does, but we have enough money for that. There's a disease outbreak over there. Rat infestation and plague. Oh dear, because the rats. They're losing a lot of public order. Um, it's okay, we're not going to send you back that way. Um, to replenish. We'll send We'll send you back to Narona. To replenish a bit. Oh, does that mean I can't... Or is it red because... Pestilence. <laughs> Skaven are here. Um, right, let's send you over here. Yep, uh, send my scout. Whichever army took that recently is no longer there. Well, Aurelian, let's start our conquest. Straight in we go. It's pretty weak, so it's only just claimed it. We'll go protective to reduce the number of casualties we take. And conquest. Uh, raising is actually the best one for instability. Because you destroy all the stuff and you get minus 40, but then it's only minus 1 for 5 turns. Although... Oh, that's... No, wait. P occupy is much better. Oh, isn't isn't Ray's best to do if uh, there are another culture? Possibly. Looting gives you the worst amount, because that's minus 20. Um, well, for 20 turns, minus 1. 20 turns, I think. So we'll just go for regular Occupy then. No money. That's fine. Oh no, you've got a cult. Um, yeah, no, I'm gonna get rid of get rid of that. Get rid of all the cults. I'll send you this way. Okay, they've Gallic Rome's armies moved over here. Could go and secure Mediolanum, but I felt that would just draw in attacks from Gallic Rome for now. So let's just try and get down there as quickly as possible. Income is skyrocketing again, which is good. Um. I think we suffer some banditry as well, which obviously ain't going to help much. Do 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 do. Have a wiggle. Right, we. Mm, they've got 14. They're, they're probably even recruiting up. Could go and hit their settlement. We'd take attrition if we go through the desert. Part of me just wants to wait. Um. If we go and take that settlement, we'd just be losing all of these. I'd rather take them out and then turn back around. But, oh, we could move my navy down here, actually. Because Gallic Rome's gone away for now. Bring my navy down here, then. Where can I move you guys, force march-wise? Let's, let's, let's... Yeah, let's encamp there. Bring these guys here because they can move to strike next turn. Taking a bit of a risk over there, but we'll we'll give it a go. Oh, uh, we can issue an edict. Of course, yeah, because we've lost Africa's one. So, doo -doo -doo. you guys are struggling with sanitation and pestilence. Is there anything for that? Not so much. Ooh, tax harvesting's 20%. Noise. That's 17. How does it increase per per region? That's that's good. We got something that increases it. Or is it maybe my dude over here? No. This guy? Maybe maybe have you got an effect that does that? You know no, but that can earn me a lot of money. Um how much are you guys actually earning this this province, I should say? Uh, not much. Um, so yeah, there's not really anything to help out the whole food issue. We could go for bread and games, which is wealth generated by culture. Do we have culture? Um, <laughs> do, do we have some culture here? N not. We have a little bit. A little bit of wealth from culture. 
Um, you guys are... You guys could do with bread and games, actually, just to get you to 100%. That'd be... That'd be nice. This region is growing there. You guys are super happy because you've got an army standing by. Ready to defend the east. You guys are all good and you've got the tax rate. Macedon also has the tax rate. Athens has the tax rate. Do, 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 which we need to probably start building up. So yeah, it's between you guys, really. Um, you're part of the Macedon province. So yeah, between these guys, you guys are 100%. Yeah, let's get, let's get you guys' happiness up. Let's do it. Bread and games. And in the turn, no, uh, character, 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 character. Ah, you guys. Okay, cool, yes. Um, household, what can you do? Uh, Will Overguard there, forever immortalized. Public order per turn, authority, cover from wounds. I'm going to go for public order. Christian priest. And success chance, and then we want to go for that one. Increase the tax rate. End turn. Move that army south towards Rome itself. I imagine you'll be smushed. Roman pretenders moving in and have reclaimed all of Sicily. Fair play. Perhaps in your wisdom, nope. you might. There is no wisdom in war with Palmyra at this point. No, 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 no. Not until. Uh, we can at least secure Rome at the very least. Oh, stolen eagle, god damn it. Ah. When do I find out if my cats to get rid of the rats was a successful idea? A mild summer. There's still rats. Yeah, so I'm kind of, I'm not going to build anything here, actually. I'm just going to keep on pushing, because at the very worst case scenario, we lose these settlements, but at least we claim Rome, and then we can push out from the capital. Oh, they've moved their army back over here. Oh, they've got another one over there. Oh, and they're, oh, they're sieging Rome. Well, this might be actually quite suitable for us. Let them soften up Rome, and then we can swoop on in. Claim it ourselves. I could go and hit that army, but let's go and claim another settlement for ourselves. Jab. Dead. And Occupado. We for uh, I mean, we could pop something in here. We do have a lot of money. This is a... Yeah, nicely built up. Uh, I'm not sure we want a military... Well, actually, we've got Rome. Eh, we could do. Won't knock it just yet. Um, port, 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 port. How are you guys on food? Uh, you are minus one food right now. You've got that one. Uh, that one's always good, the auditorium. Again, I'm, I'm might lose these at might lose these settlements soon. Uh, actually, yeah, let's destroy that one just because I'm thinking, if anything, we need to get the culture to 100%. Got the spy over here. They are taking attrition. I mean, we could just harass them and weaken weaken both sides. It's because their armies, the pretenders, are all down here in Sicily, so we could actually exile them down here quite nicely. Their fleet's coming back. Where did you guys go? No, you stayed there. Noise. Oh, I can't quite reach, so we'd have to force march. But then we can go in against the... Oh, they've gone to a full 20 stack. What? What? We've got 10 there, and we've got... Yeah, these guys are nearly fully healed, but I reckon we can take them. We'll have ballistas. Let's, let's do it. Let's go in. Seeing as my ships are coming in for this one, I think I'd quite like to fight this one. The elephants are going to be prime target to take down. We'll need to focus on them. Um, we could obviously night attack it, but that would stop our ships coming on in, I believe. Even without our ships, apparently, we have a rather effective order resolve here. But let's uh, let's fight it. I want to see the ships come on in. In we go. On the Clades Neptunis. Wait. Wait again. Wait one more. Ah. Oh. Right, so yeah, my fleet's gonna come in from here, they can hit them from behind. 
Spears, you're you're on elephant taking down duty, please. Jupiter gives us strength. General, what actual unit do you have? You have Evercarty Cohort. Which stat wise melee attack is seventy. Armor is ninety-three, so you're better than legionaries, cool. Uh, so yeah, you'll have that group, and then we're gonna make another three group here, and we're gonna we're gonna play with some reserves today, in the center, and off fire at will. <laughs> Move my land army forward, and income my reinforcements. Now, assuming the AI will do the same thing it always does, which is oh crap, no, let's park these things. We have light artillery ships. Uh, missile troops over this way. Um, melee ships with general that away. And artillery ships, you'll also just move forward into the harbour to launch your projectiles. Um, yeah, assault ships, chase off these guys and if not land there. We can't land. We can't actually park it up in the harbor. We can go there, actually. That might be a useful one. Okay, yeah, you guys go that way, actually. Bro, harder. Yeah, definitely flammable round, for sure. Can't see any of the enemies so far. Oh wait, no, seen one. There we go. Some spears. These guys though are gonna flank on around here, the javelins. Okay. Let's yeah, let's move forward to here. Let's walk it. So my ship's gonna need some time to get on in. The general with Roman legionaries. Might be a good idea to put these guys in, in the harbour around here, the missile troops. Let's do that. We'll have the ballista ships here ready to fire. So we can actually see some of the enemy. Okay, you guys can run now. Run now, please. I'd like to actually see some of the enemy. There's a javelin unit over that way. The other two units probably fled through the city this way. Wiggle, wiggle, wiggle. Once we land with these guys, we'll have an idea of this this lot over here, and we can fire. Oh. Targets. Oh, I found the elephants. Burn them with fire. There we go. Burn, baby, burn. Elephant inferno. And I've got to, I've got to manually fire some of this. Yes, that's a burnt elephant butt. Come on, oh, a bit high. I much prefer this way of firing uh, than the warhammer way because you at least get some idea of where it's landing. Oh, that's an elephant in the face! Bit too high. Is quite sensitive, this firing mode, I've always found. Burn them all. Slight little knock can uh, send the uh, the aim miles above. Right, let's stop that now because we're having a lot of fun. <laughs> and that's not allowed, is it? Right, you're landing with these guys. Oh, damn it! Left click drag. I love hate you.
forward. 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 Our general is under attack. Take out the cavalry. And reserves move up. Oh. Spears, I found your next target. Elefante. No, don't fire on them. Fire on these guys. Oh, uh, you blocked me, bloody general. You ass. You go in and capture their square. All the elephants have gone down like rocks. Can't actually see how many of them they've got left, the but they've gone. Dead. Should actually send a couple of you guys to flank around that way. Two reserves we've got this way. I think off formation attack might help as well here. Push, 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 push. In fact, you guys, you're going to flank around that way. The battle is turning in our favor. Thank you, Mark Strong. Oh dear, you guys have really cocked up this, haven't you? You're just like, oh dear. Could you just sod off and get out of the way, would you? There you go. Round you go. In we go, General. Steady! I would say fire into all this lot, but I'm worried I might hit my own men. But let's see what happens. We're capturing their victory point anyway. Send you guys in. Just turn it around. There we go. Can you reverse now, please? Let's get you guys to stop firing now, just in case. Oh, well, what a bounce. <laughs> Sorry. Wait, you guys. What? Oh, oh, this way. I said, just keep nudging that <laughs> that ship round. GG ship, GG. Let's break some of these burgers. In we go. Nice. Shunt the elephant uh, carcasses around a bit. Rear charge. Breaks our foes. There we go. Wow, massive. Charge that way, please. Evocati. Yeah, archers, you help out over here. Good, good. Let's send this lot in, shall we? We've captured their, their victory point. Oh, it's just a capture point, not a victory point. They not have a victory point. I guess not on a city like this. It's just capturing. We'll see morale bonus for areas within zone of control. Well, we, we've gained your, we gained your point. Oh! I thought they'd fix that where they were going over land. I think it's because I don't know if it's still trying to land here or over there. I think it's actually still trying to land in its original position, which is here. <laughs> That's it. Park it up. There we go. They finally parked. <laughs> oh dear. Off you go, guys. Well, better late than never, eh? They're holding pretty well. General's unit has lost one. Let's have another steady. It's because they're all spears, so they've, they've got the defensive skill just to sit there and squat. But we have now broken these guys, so in we go. From the backside, it is going to break them.
Uh, if we turn that back on, we should see all of these guys suddenly throw up the white flag. They're all going down to red. And all about to shatter, poop themselves. And surrender. Or be slaughtered. Come on. Push through. There we go. End the battle. And now we're going to send this army off to claim their home region. Legionary is getting 214, 205, and my general 150. 154 with the levies there. Nice. That spearmen did well as well. Yeah, we shut down those elephants quite nicely, which is good. Reclaim that so we can could reissue the edict over here. Uh, just conquer. I do feel like I need to send you back over here, though. Put on. Right, we've regained. Replenish. Let's um, let's buff you up as well. Let's get some. I kind of feel like we could use some missile troops, but I don't really want the skirmishers. I'd rather just have. Uh, actually, let's get some cavalry. Well, they mainly have a lot of spears, but still, that'll do. That will do, and then we can move towards this settlement. Finish them off once and for all. Are oh, they? They straight away built a shrine. God damn it! And converted that over. Income goes up, so yeah, we need to... Well, yes, it would be nice to give you guys another edict. How close are we to the next Imperium level, actually? Guessing quite a ways off. Oh, here we go. Eh, not so much. Loyalty, political parties... Uh, physical action cost, 36 political instant corruption and promises. Yeah, that, that increases a lot as we as we build on up. They managed to rescue all their land from Gallic Rome, but at the cost of losing up here. So it's probably going to draw their armies up that way, which does mean it opens up Sicily to be hit again, which is... Fine, we can work with that. Um, also means uh, there'll be more forces going towards Aurelian, but opens one door somewhere. It's fine. Um, do, 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 do. What have we got here? Oh, we can get mercenary Cretan archers. Wow, base morale is high. The range is 150. You're good. Can we can we recruit regular? Cretan archers if we were to, I don't know, build the auxiliary barracks. Surely from, from this region, if that's where we can if those are the mercenaries we can get. Uh let before I forget, let's get ourselves Um do, do, do. let's get ourselves a what do you guys called? Champion, that's the one. Manipulation, assassination, or one that's good. Yeah, here we go. Training per turn. Boom. Recruit you. you change your name. Because then we could have had that in there. Um, turns to recover from wound. Authority. Authority. Let's give you more authority. Uh, so we'll pop you into Aurelian's army next turn. But that is where we're going to wrap this one up for now. Noria, they have brought that army back. So I might need to think about sending this army that way. I was thinking I'd actually throw them round. I mean, it's the long way around, but we can recruit units that way. Um, okay, let's throw you guys up here. Because I want to retrofit some of those levies, make more of you cohorts. And ideally, I should really upgrade that legionary barracks sooner rather than later so we can start doing stuff there. Uh, this army, for now, I'm going to keep you there. You're relatively cheap and cheerful. Um, the cavalry is the most expensive thing there, and the legionaries, but that holds all of this area. I mean, we could always bring them away and use you guys to hold Noria, but then I feel that's just asking for the Buri to go to war with us again. I don't know if the Quadi are going to go after them. Hopefully they will. That would be nice. We can't... We can actually go up towards them. Can we cross the river, though? No. Doesn't look like it. Unless it's just defaulting to a fast path elsewhere. Hmm. Which means I'd have to get movement through the gothy lands and I think we did this before didn't we or oh, they've got yeah they've got two territories if they only have one they'll just go and wipe them out and claim all of the Dacian region because they are stopping me from doing that um, we could actually send our diplomat couldn't we to the Quad Eye that's what we were thinking of doing although it's from a, the small the new party that's just popped up let's let's do that though because I would like to keep them they are slowly dropping down but let's send you here don't screw up actually I should have checked if you do you even like Easterners? Oh, you hate Barbarians. Oh dear. That's not so good then. <laughs> Should not have sent you. Should definitely have checked that. Whoopsie. 
Um, so yeah, minus two loyalty for each barbarian faction with which you have established diplomatic treaties up to minus ten. Okay, so well, yeah, he 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 may not be receptive. In which case, we need to hire a statesman. Um, it's gonna have to be one of the others to hopefully love barbarians and work on that whole uh, diplomatic thing. But anyway, Aurelian is on his way to Rome. He is a stone's throw away. In fact, um, I wonder if uh, if we went down here, could we? We make, uh, we take out this army and then just take Rome ourselves. Who knows? We'll do that next time and more. So as always, I hope you enjoyed. Don't forget to comment, rate, and subscribe. Follow me on Facebook and Twitter. Take pride on the Legion. Check out my affiliates and sponsors. Games Planet, Overclockers UK, QT, and MSI. Until the next one, ciao for now.